record set. I'm not sure what the time was, but it felt hard. Okay, but let's first rewind back to 2016. I was certainly not a runner. I was actually very strong. I competed in powerlifting, so squatting, deadlifting, and bench press. A year later, I migrated into Olympic weightlifting and I got pretty good at that too. I then tried my hand at strongman training in 2018, which was good fun. And you know, there's a common theme here, lift heavy weights, get strong. Another year went by and I randomly tried my luck at a US Army fitness test. And as part of it, I had to run two miles and honestly, it killed me. And then fast forward to the present day, well, yeah. Since that very embarrassing showing of a run, I realized that I was pretty good at most physical activity, apart from running. And so I've decided I'm gonna run a half marathon. I'm gonna prove that I can run fast for a long period of time, but with a twist. Hear me out. So as of right now, I've set myself three objectives. Find a half marathon that's taking place in the next two weeks, finish the race in under one hour, 30 minutes, and finally set a world record. I know what you're thinking, <laughs> so let's address the elephant on the page. The world record part. Some context for this world record that I want to set, right? I was on YouTube and I watched a video of a guy wearing four watches on both arms during the Boston Marathon. And I thought, maybe, maybe I could wear five? But like, what a ball ache that would be. So instead of how many watches, I was thinking maybe I just look at the value of the watch that I wear. So I want to set a world record for the most expensive watch worn during a half marathon race. But how how the hell do you set a world record? Turns out it's actually not that difficult. I just went on the Guinness World Record website, typed in the stupid thing I wanted to do, and that's pretty much it. I was given the option to pay £600 for a fast track application, but I declined and went for the £5 12 week response option, you know, cost of living crisis and all that. But £5 down the drain, and with my world record application pending, I thought I'd decide on a watch to wear. But wait, before choosing the watch, I needed to get training as soon as possible. Never in my life have I needed to run so fast for so long. So I've just run 10k in 51 and a half minutes and to give you an idea of how quick I need to run on race day to get a sub one hour 30 half marathon I would need to do this 10k in 42 and a half minutes do that twice and then run another very fast kilometer to finish the race to make it 21k. Uh, I'm not gonna lie it's gonna be way harder than I expected that felt very difficult. Well, that certainly wasn't the biggest boost of confidence, but back to deciding on a watch to wear. Luckily, I run a watch business, and so I come across a bunch of different watches all the time. Now, I've got an example here of a 5,000 pound Omega Seamaster, all the way up to a AP Royal Oak Chronograph Black Dial, which is about 30,000 pounds, right? I can't wear a watch that I want to sell. So that leaves me with my personal collection. I have a Rolex Submariner Hulk here and an AP Royal Oak 15400 White Dial. And I'm thinking if I'm gonna do this properly and set a good world record, I've gotta go for the more expensive watch, the one that has more value. And it is the AP Royal Oak, it just is, but it just seems so bizarre wearing an AP for an hour and a half on a run. It doesn't feel safe actually thinking about it. With safety in mind, it had me thinking, do I even wanna run in London or is there somewhere else that would be better to run the half marathon? While I packed my watch and my running stuff into a bag and decided to head out. I think I'm ready. I hopped onto the tube and had some time to reflect on this stupid idea that I had. I gathered some essentials and made my way to Heathrow Airport. I got onto the plane and found my seat. I managed to get comfortable, but then decided to take a toilet break. So I have decided to get a flight to Toronto in Canada. I have a really good friend there called Alex, who you may know. And uh, luckily there's a half marathon in Toronto in three days time. What are the odds, right? So yeah, currently just enjoying the uh, luxuries of my flight and I will uh, see you when I land. A very easy and comfortable seven hour flight later and I had made it. Here we go. This is Toronto. Yes, visible confusion. I have no idea where to go. All right, here we are. Now, I just need to find Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Are you wearing a watch during the race? Yeah, I'm wearing a Garmin GPS one. <laughs> Are you wearing a watch during the race? I am. What are you wearing? An AP. An AP? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs>
we're getting ready right now. We're up at like 6 a.m. Race starts at half seven. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, it's currently 6.30. Uh, a couple of issues, well not issues, but I'm gonna have to wear the AP on the wrong hand, or oh, wrong wrist, which is gonna be weird and probably gonna feel heavy. Second issue is, I don't know how the hell we're getting to the start line. Despite not knowing, we headed out anyway. We hopped onto a bus that took us about 10 kilometers north and we had a shocker. Right. Left, left our bags in the bush. Well, bags are in the bush. Because we missed the, uh, the bag drop. <laughs> With our bags in a bush, five and a half thousand people stood behind us and the AP firmly on my wrist. It was time to race. Three, two, So here we go, off me and Alex went right at the start of the Toronto half marathon. Oh, and, and this guy Pete. I was really worried about the AP on my wrist. I didn't want to fall and break my watch. Okay, just gone past 5K, 21 minutes. I'm just on pace, maybe a little under. Feeling all right, Woo. let's go. AP looking good. The weather was perfect, the roads were clear, I was fairly confident about finishing under 1 hour 30 at this point. Okay, 10k done, literally gone through, 42 minutes dead, I'm on track, I'm 30 seconds under, if I can keep this pace, I'll be good, but it's getting hard, still working. The support from the crowd was amazing and definitely helped, and surprisingly, the AP didn't feel heavy on my wrist. 15k in, 1 minute 3. 15, feeling all right, 6K left. This is it now, race starts here. I feel good, I think I've got it. 21K, almost there, let's go. Sub 130, here I come, yeah. I was truly in the pain cave right here. I was so close to running a sub one hour 30 half marathon and setting a new world record. Sprint finish. Let's get it. Oh. <coughs> well, record set. Let's go. How are you doing? I got that for you. Finished. I'm not sure what the time was, but it felt hard. 